Here I am, the only headmaster that makes house calls. How are you, girls? We're women, okay, Mr. Badley? Sorry, Molly. I keep forgetting. You're a woman. <laughs> Now, we'll talk about something really important. Who is going to represent Eastland at the Intraschool Harvest Queen contest? Well, since I am the reigning Harvest Queen for two years in a row, <laughs> naturally I'll be in the contest. Righty. Oh, count me out. Nobody's judging me on my cleavage. <laughs> I guess Molly speaks for everyone. Not for me. I nominate Cindy. Cindy? Cindy's great. The best athlete in school. Cool. At least that'll keep it from being a total flesh parade. <laughs> I don't know what to do at a dance. Oh, that's a cinch. Lesson one, try to seem flattered when the nerd asks you to dance. Yeah, say, gosh, thanks, nerd. <laughs> don't say anything, just grab him. <laughs> Fathers can't be trusted. My heart feels like it's busted. Boy, am I disgusted. I got a right to sing the blues. That's it. Sing it, Molly. Let it all out. What a crummy thing to do, bringing that sneaky frizz head up here. She's gonna ruin Mom and Dad falling back in love. Oh, I see. You're still trying to get the folks back together again, huh? Yeah, it's gonna work out. Once he sees Mom again, he'll drop that floozy. Mm-hmm. Tell me, Molly, what was it like when you were all together? It was terrific. It was wonderful. Molly, you said yourself your Mom and Dad fought all the time. Okay, so it wasn't that terrific. But at least we were together until Dad ruined it. Come on, Molly. What was it really like? Well, Dad would come home late from the office because he's a workaholic. That's what Mom says. And then she would say, you've ruined dinner again. And then he would say, how can I ruin it? You cooked it. <laughs> <laughs> and I bet I know what happened after dinner. They'd go into the bedroom and they'd argue. No, they figured out a way to argue in front of me. They'd smile. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my mother was a whiz at that. So what if you've torn up my credit cards, dear? I just ran your favorite sweater down the garbage disposal. Congratulate me. According to this government pamphlet, my hormones have been triggered. <laughs> So you want to celebrate with a large party or will a small sit-down dinner do? Hi, girls. Mrs. Garrett, did you hear the news? Molly's been triggered. I'm almost afraid to ask what that means. It means I've entered puberty. Oh. Molly. Right on schedule. <laughs> And just in time for my sex education class. I'd like to enter puberty. Where do you sign up? <laughs> oh, may I, Molly? I might use this in my class. Countdown to puberty. I don't think I want the government controlling my hormones. Mm, don't worry, Molly. Mm, they haven't been able to control anything lately. <laughs> Mr. Ram. I'd like to present Exhibit A, which is two of these grades that I got from Mrs. Packard's front office, who is always truthful, even though our dentures do wobble when she talks. <laughs> a, A, B, A. Cooperative, enthusiastic, talks too much. Uh-oh. But that's a gym, so it doesn't count. Hey, the place does look great. A French cafe was a terrific theme for parents' night. Yeah, the old dump looks très magnifique. Yeah, the tray does look magnifique, doesn't it? Our parents are really going to be impressed. We're even using the good plastic. Okay, you guys, Mrs. Garrett's coming, and she's wearing that French outfit we put together. And don't kid her, she's kind of shy about it. Okay, come on. I don't know. I, uh, I, I feel so silly. I, I don't feel very French. Do I look French? Oh, you look great, Mrs. Garrett. Oh, yeah? Hold that pose. Oh, 
song? I'm looking you up on this book on body language. Body language? Yeah, it's all about how we make moves with our body to tell people what we're thinking. Oh. It says here, when you stand with your shoulders straight, what you're really saying is I'm proud of my territory. I'm proud of my territory. All of it. Oh, what the heck? I love Paris in the springtime. I love Paris in the I love Paris in the winter when it whistles. I love Paris in the summer when it sizzles. <laughs> Forget it. Thank you, Garrett. Your body was really talking while it was singing and dancing. It was saying, look at me. I'm not peak skill in New York. I'm in Paris, and why are you covering yourself up? Oh, well, you may have sent my body to Paris, but I'm hanging out here. <laughs> hey, there's a snappy-looking dude coming up the driveway. Huh? Could that be your father? No, my father dresses like a dentist. <laughs> Did he get out of a Dodge Dart? No, it's a silver Porsche. <laughs> That's not my father. Don't be too sure. After the separation, men always buy a German sports car. It makes them feel macho. <laughs> sex, sex, sex. That's all the American public thinks about. It's disgusting. What are you talking about, Molly? The media pays nauseating amounts of money to the stars they think will get the audience excited. Oh, you're talking about Bo Derrick, huh? No, it's a guy. He is sexy, though. Who is it? Robert Redford? John Travolta? What's sexy about those guys? It's Dan Rather. <laughs> He's got it all. Plus eight million dollars. And worth every cent of it. <laughs> Boy, Blair's mom really knows how to talk with her body. Yeah, when her body talks, people listen. <laughs> she does everything the book says. Did you see the way she tilts her head and sways her hips? She's saying, I'm a warm, inviting human being. Move into my territory. If she were any more inviting, she'd be a regular welcome wagon. <laughs> Natalie! Let's study Miss Mahoney's body. Study Miss Mahoney's body? I think you're gonna have to read between the lines. Oh, oh, hey, I got an idea. We'll chain two to the front gate, just like John Boynton coming home. The man at the stereo store said that the Yamaguchi system is the state of the art. <laughs> Mrs. Garrett, I don't think we should buy a Yamaguchi stereo. If we don't start buying American products, our economy is going into the toilet. <laughs> Delicately put, Molly. Molly, Yamaguchi is an American company. Yeah, they gave it a Japanese name so people would have more confidence in the quality. Ready for career day, girls? Yeah, yeah I think so. so. Yes, I've decided I'm going to be the Joan Baez of the 80s. Listen. The skies are junky. The legs are chunky. The oceans are gunky. I feel like a lab monkey. Stop grossing up America, you turkeys. Wonderful, Molly.